Hey, we're just going over some of our uh, pickups that we've uh, we got some of them today up in uh, Lebanon, Ohio. Some of them we've picked up the, over the past month. Um, some of the we took a couple of trips to the car shop. One, me and Shelly, who's recording here, took today. Um, we got all this candy from this is the it's the uh, this is the name of it. It's we call it the Lebanon Baseball Card Shop. It's got a candy store right right next to it. <laughs> it's all it's actually owned by the same guy. So you walk out the door, right the other side is the candy shop. We got we got these gold chocolate coins, some tear jerkers, a, a fruit gummy pizza which looked good to me, old dots and some sweet tarts. I haven't had these dots since I was a little girl. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't the had those for a long time either. The paper comes off on the back of them usually. <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to try those out later. Um, these are some of the pickups we got. Um, show you Shelly stuff first. She's a, she's a Colts fan and a Billy Hamilton fan. This this was like a, a luck rookie card. He let us keep the stand too, which I thought was cool. Yeah. Um, and some of the other things picked up. She got a Billy Hamilton card, Don Russ. She's a Billy Hamilton fan. T. Y. Hilton. There's a Manning a Manning card. That's actually the This one is actually card one forty out of three hundred and forty nine. I don't know if you can see that. But they, they, it's a limited amount made of this card. So that I I know that the the modern cards, some of them can be worth a ton just because they don't make as many as they used to. Reggie Wayne. Um, and also today at that shop, I picked up these cards, just some miscellaneous things. I got a 79 George Brett. Um, the guy gave us a real good deal when we bought all these, and I bought these Topps archives as well. He threw in these little extra cards I got pretty much for free. I got a Grease card, Danny and Kanicki. There's a couple Star Wars cards, just miscellaneous things I kind of like. We found them in the bucket. An 82 Topps Jim Zorn. Actually, I'm trying to collect up the 82 top set. I got a long, long way to go. Um, also, like at, we went to the card shop a couple weeks ago. I picked up some Conlins. And I, I got this amazing pack of 82 Fleer, which I want to show you. I ordered some 90 Don Rust to, to help complete my set. And I'm down to like eight cards. And when I got it, I also got a couple 87 Don Rust here. Just some pickups. And in an archive uh, pack, my son, Luke, won a autograph card. We, we we redeemed it online and they mailed it to us. It's a 79 Phil Garner. It's like a parallel type mm. card now, but it's actually signed by Phil Garner, which is kind of cool. But check out this card, this uh, 82 Fleer pack. My, you may not believe me, but I really did get these all in one pack. I think there was a Henderson too that I already took out, but the first card after the second I pulled out, when I opened the pack, the back was showing through was the Cal Ripken Jr. rookie, which was amazing. Um, I don't know. It's not as worth as much as the tops. This one may be worth nine, ten bucks, maybe. But it's still pretty cool because that's the card I really wanted. Um, like here's the other ones that were in there: Bobby Brown, a checklist. Had yeah, Dennis Eckersley, who has a pretty cool card. A Bill Buckner, Randy Lurch, Richard Dotson. There's a Dave Winfield was in the pack. Also, this Fernando Valenzuela, that might be his rookie this year, too. Or maybe it's his second year. can't exactly remember. Rennie Stennett, Jack O'Connor. Carlton Fisk was in there, too. It was like a pretty good pack. Roger Erickson, John Littlefield, and the Pete Rose on the Phillies. Sorry, my phone's ringing. 